So I think I just found the best MacBook or even iPad Pro accessory that you can buy for anybody that's on the go, or wants to be a little bit more mobile, and wants to be more agile and dynamic with their accessories, and but also wants to extend their screen to that secondary display. So without further ado, let's talk about this brand new Espresso 17 Pro, which I am absolutely in love with. Let's get into it. <music> So I actually found the brand Espresso about two years ago when I saw one of their you know, displays or portable displays come up on my feed and I thought to myself like, oh wow, this looks like a very well built, almost as if Apple would have made an external display directly from the Apple store and this is kind of what Apple would have wanted from an external display. You know, I've seen countless external displays, especially mobile ones between 13 and 17, maybe even 20 inches from third party companies that were just, uh, the quality was a little bit on the lower side and it would say it's a 1080p or 4K display but it was very dim and it wasn't as crisp as you wanted it to be. And again, the price did reflect what you were getting overall, but nothing really kind of hit the mark. So then Espresso came around about two years ago and I got their 15 inch Espresso, I believe it's a 15 T model. And that thing was absolutely amazing. I used it all the time on the go. It had a great carrying case that would fit perfectly on the actual screen itself to protect the screen and act as a carrying case and would still fit in your actual backpack alongside a 13, a 14 or a 16 inch MacBook Pro as well. So bringing that with me really helped me realize just how much better from a, from a build quality perspective this display was. Now that older display was a touchscreen display. It was a 1080p display and recently Espresso finally decided to upgrade their 15T to now the 17 Pro. Now this thing is absolutely amazing. They changed the design a little bit because the Espresso, the old Espresso displays did have a nice little chin on the bottom, which kind of gave it a kind of iMac-esque, like a smaller iMac kind of look to it where it did have that chin. It had the branding of the Espresso display on that chin as well. So you knew exactly what display you were looking at because when you, whenever you saw that chin on the bottom, you were like, oh wow, this is an Espresso display. But now Espresso kind of changed the design language a little bit, made it a little bit more compact from a vertical standpoint. So if you're looking at it vertically, it is actually smaller than the 15 inch display, but you're getting an extra two inches because it is a 17 inch display this time. And I absolutely love the design language that they went with this year because it's a little bit more minimal. It's not in your face as much and it still fits in your bag perfectly well. It's a little bit more elongated. So from a width standpoint, it does go a little bit farther, but it still has that great thinness. It still has that premium build quality. It, again, it just feels as if it's kind of like a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, but only a display that you can bring with you at all times. So I do quickly want to go over the specs because the specs do tell a decent story, but I, then I'll go into the use case and kind of how I've been using it overall. So this is a 17.3 inch LED panel, which is absolutely beautiful. And it is a 4K resolution display versus the last models were all 1080p. And if you do need to kind of scale it down to 1080p, you can 100% do that in the settings as well. Since they did go with the 4K display this time around, we do get over a billion colors, which is absolutely amazing. And it's enhanced with 10-bit color. It does follow that P3 color gamut, which is amazing to see in such a small form factor. I don't know how they were able to get all this done in such a thin profile. It's also at 450 nits of brightness, so it can be used outdoors if you really need it to. It gets a little bit reflective in outdoor use. I did just try it one time, but I'm not usually outside with an external display, but if you're in a coffee shop that's very well lit, or maybe you're by a window or something like that, this will be totally fine, even though it does have a glossy display. And then in terms of the ports, the only ports that you can see on there is two USB-C ports, and that's used for everything, right? You can put dongles on there, you can run power to it, you can run power pass through as well if you need to, to power your laptop alongside of your display itself. So this thing is pretty much thought of everything when you're on the go. And the last thing to mention is that this is a full on touchscreen and it does come with some accessories to kind of take advantage of that touchscreen, which I'll touch on in a little bit. So it does cover that if you're somebody that uses an external display as a touchscreen and you need that touchscreen capability, kind of like a Wacom tablet or something along those lines. So now to actually use this display and to actually get it started and get it going, all you need to do is use the included USB-C cable and connect it to your actual host computer. Now this works with anything that has a USB-C out, so a computer, an iPad, a tablet, you know, something like a, a Samsung Galaxy, which has Samsung DeX, so you're able to use it in that fashion as well. And it kind of encompasses everything. You can play video games on it, you can get some productivity work done, connect your iPhone now that it has a USB-C cable, which is cool to see. I mean, not too much functionality at that point, but a USB-C cable out from the iPhone to the Espresso display will power it up, which is great to see. So my main use case with this is connecting it to my M2 MacBook Air to have an external display because I do have the 13 inch model of the MacBook Air and having the extra 17.3 inches is absolutely amazing, especially with their new software called Espresso Flow, which has been out for a little while now. And that's Espresso software to help you maximize the actual screen real estate by being able to move windows from left to right, from top to bottom, kind of have a quad window setup, which automatically snaps into place. So I know there's a lot of utilities that do that already, but the Espresso Flow is just a free one that you can try out whether or not you actually have an Espresso display, but it just works that much better because it also 
helps with the touchscreen functionality. Now, macOS was not made to be a touchscreen interface. You know, if you wanna get into that touchscreen space, get an iPad, get an iPhone, but if there are some situations like design work, like Photoshop, you know, something that you wanna sign on, but you're in a MacBook situation, you can still use the Espresso Display, Espresso Flow, and their actual pencil tip or their stylus to get that done, and it works extremely well. And I've seen a lot of artists use this capability, which is nice to see. I'm personally more on the business side, and I kinda just edit videos. I don't I don't do too much with a virtual pencil, but it is very responsive. I did try it out. It works extremely well. It's, I use it more as like a mouse replacement as a point and click solution, but to each their own, it is there if you need it. And then to actually power up the display, all you need to do is take your host computer, like your MacBook or your iPad, plug it into the actual Espresso display, and the Espresso display just lights up and turns on. So you do not need to have an external power source to run this beautiful display, even at 4K resolution with all the 1 billion colors and things of that nature. Now, yes, it will drain your battery a little bit quicker than actually not having it plugged in, of course. I got about four to five hours of screen on time with the Espresso display turned on at all times with my M2 MacBook Air. And they actually do sell an accessory called the Espresso Charge, which is a you know an external battery that sits on the bottom of their magnetic stand and actually gives you an additional four to five hours if need be. But if you're in a situation where you wanna plug in to an outlet, you can also do that and it will give you power pass through. So if you plug in directly to your MacBook or if you plug in directly to your Espresso display and that's connected to your MacBook, it will also charge your MacBook, which is a great, nice addition, which is something small that not a lot of people think about, but it is there if you need it. So I just wanted to take the time to highlight, again, the build quality, the consistency, just how robust it is, and it has everything that you would ever need out of an external display, and then some. Now, a lot of people are probably saying in the comments, you know, Fernando, you have an iPad, you have an M2 MacBook Air, why not just use your MacBook Air and your iPad together with an external display? You could definitely do that, and that's something that I have done in the past, and I will continue to do, but having the 17.3 inch display just gives you that much more screen real estate, and still gives you that high quality. Like, normally, if you go that big of a size on an external display, especially on a portable one, and a mobile one first, you're gonna get some sort of sacrifice. Again, as somebody who's used to the iPad Pro screen, this Espresso display kind of lives up to that hype and kind of gets to that same quality of display tech, which is amazing to see, whereas a lot of these third-party ones from Amazon really do not. So as I mentioned, my use cases aren't in really in the design world. They're more, I guess, on the creative side when it comes to thumbnail creation and video editing. I have been able to edit a whole video from my iPad Pro connected to the Espresso display, and it works great. Obviously, the touch interface is a little bit different, so don't expect it because it does have a touch screen to then be able to use iPad OS as if it's on the actual iPad. It's still a little bit different, so I wouldn't fully use it that way, but it is optimized more so for Mac OS and to help you from a touch interface on Mac OS side even though macOS isn't a touch-first interface, so just something to think about. And then from a productivity standpoint, it works extremely well on macOS as well, right? You can kind of use their Espresso Flow to separate an Excel file and then also have Chrome open while looking at your calendar on your personal display on the computer and things like that. So it just makes your life a little bit easier, a little bit more efficient. And it's a great complementary device to whatever you have currently going on. So the Espresso 17 Pro is on pre-order right now. It should be coming out and delivery should be happening in the US, I believe, towards the second half of November, so relatively soon if you do want to pick one up. You can pre-order the actual Espresso display with the stand for, I believe, $9.99. So yes, it is a premium price point, but it's because you're buying something that's going to last you a long time, and it actually meets and exceeds that price point versus, I keep mentioning these Amazon products that are like $150 to maybe $300. I've actually purchased those before, and they'd last you six months, if that. I'm a big believer in buying something once that's gonna last you a long time versus buying something that's a little bit cheaper that you're gonna to have to rebuy over and over again. So if you guys wanna make that investment, go for it. Full disclosure, Espresso was nice enough to send this review unit over to try out, to test out, and see how it would work in my personal workflow, but they did not see this video before you guys did. This is my honest review on the product, and I definitely would pay that $1,000 price point for something like this, especially if I was somebody that was constantly on the go, somebody that's constantly in a WeWork or in a shared workspace, maybe works in a coffee shop, but wants that extended monitor support, maybe you're in hotels a lot and that's what you work out of, I think this is a great solution. But shout out to Espresso for sending this over. I will link it down below if you guys do wanna check it out. It is on pre-order, but they should be shipping relatively soon according to what they were telling me. So let me know if you decided to pick one up. Leave a little dolphin if you made it to the end and also leave a comment down below if this is something that you see yourself using. Do you think you would pay $1,000 for an external display that is of this high quality or would you rather spend maybe that $200 on some no-name brand on Amazon to get your work done in that fashion? But let me know with a comment down below. If you guys want to watch more iOS, iPadOS, or macOS videos, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace.